The shuffle drive drill, again, as, as you progress, I'm trying to get to the finish. What's the finish part? And when I do this, it's just emphasize, boom, one, two, control foot, contact foot. Do you have that? Shuffle drive. Now, Eddie's on the wrong side of the, of the play here, but someone once said to me, uh, hey, coach, why, how come this guy's head is out uh, in, on the wrong side? And some guy yelled out something about there is no such thing as a bad tackle. So there is no such thing as a bad tackle. Get the guy on the ground. I do this probably once, uh, one time. I do the step to contact drill multiple times. Uh, I do this one once or twice, and it's em emphasize balance. Getting their, I want, actually want their elbows glued to their knees, palms up. It's a slow drill, and then try to get the finish. That's the shuffle drive movement right at the end. This guy, this is Ifo, great football player with great balance. You can see how his hips stay closed, his shoulders stay closed. We don't want to reach for contact. We want to get our, our control foot and then step the contact with proper leverage. Again, emphasize drill. This is an emphasis. Slow it down. See, this guy comes out. He doesn't have his knees or his elbows glued to his knees. He's got to get lower. Good balance, though. Slow the drill down because you can see how they, they want to start coming up. It's not comfortable when you overemphasize a drill where you're taking a drill and going, hey, let's make a part of it. And let's exaggerate the drill and emphasize one part of that drill, which we're doing here. And good finish right there. And again, guys, I'm coaching finish all the time. It doesn't stop. It's not you can get where in, in, in that day every single guy is going to finish. You don't stop coaching finish and effort. Again, see how their elbows are coming up and they're, they're, they're losing a little bit of their control. So now I'm emphasizing get back, slow it down. Get your knees down uh, or get your elbows down. Just the same thing, different angle. Palms up, prevents for reaching for contact. This is a little bit later. We're doing better with our drill. Trying to get exactly what I want. I want them to be uncomfortable. I want them to exaggerate. I want them to keep their backs flat and see if they can maintain that balance right there that that way they won't cross over they won't reach the things that that happen and I think a big emphasis is if you say anything you can say things in tackling like um, don't step or, or don't reach for contact step on their toes a lot of terms like that I, I like to use the term put your chest on them if you can put your chest on a guy your feet come with it and your arms don't 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 reach out in front of your body but even right there in a slow motion drill like that, a guy can't get his knees on his elbow, or elbows on his knees. He's going too fast, and he literally misses a tackle in slow motion. That's why I do these kind of drills over and over again. You can't do them enough. Now, okay, well, I guess I'm going to do it right the second time. Amazing. And then finish. And I'm saying something to him about, can you just finish? How hard is that? There's a good finish. Good, good head. Head and foot placement, not bad. 